Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can downgrade to the any iOS version. So for example, I am using iOS 17.1 as you can see. But if I want to downgrade, how I can downgrade to the another iOS version. What you need is a computer, laptop or a Mac. That is really important. And very first thing you need to do is go to this website, which is known as ipsw.p and after going to this website you will see this website something like this so from here you need to select iphone and after selecting iphone now you need to select what iphone that you are using for example you can be using iphone 15 or any other iphone uh, in my case i am using iphone 14 as you guys know so after going to this there are two different ios version that are available for uh, download and these uh, ios version are signed by apple so you can only restore or downgrade to the signed versions so for example i want to downgrade my iphone from ios 17.1 to ios 17.0.2 so I need to click on this file and after this, I need to download this file from here, a very simple process and the downloading will begin. So once I have downloaded the IPSW file and it is available on my computer, what I need to do is I also need to download um, iTunes, which in my case, I have already downloaded over here, as you can see. So iTunes is already installed. So basically you need a computer, uh, with a data cable for the iPhone that you need IPSW file then you also need iTunes so once you have iTunes in your computer now it's time to connect your phone to the computer now let me connect this phone to the computer okay so I have connected my phone to the computer as you can see now what I need to do is I will see a new icon on the computer which is something like this one as you can see so I have to tap on this icon and it will show all the details. Now this, these two buttons are really important. The very first one is check for update and the another one is restore iPhone. Now here is the twist and it is very important guys. If you are coming from any public update like iOS 17.1 or anything, you can downgrade without losing your data. But if you are coming from any beta version you cannot downgrade uh, without losing data you might have to lose data so if you are coming from any public update you need to select this option check for update but before that what you need to do is tap and hold the shift button just like this one and after this click on the check for update now i will click on the check for update I click check for the update now a browser will be open now from here you can select the IPSW file and you just need to hit open it and it will start downgrading now if you are using if you are a Mac user you don't have a shift button on it so for the Mac users you have to use the option button you have to tap and hold the option button and while doing that you need to hit the check for update but if you want to uh, you know restore your iphone from scratch you do you don't want to you don't want to have your data you want to delete all your data you can also select the restore iphone option again you have to uh, tap the sh tap and hold the shift button or option button depending upon what computer you are using and tap on the restore iphone option and then you need to select the ipsw file and your downgrading will start so this is a very simple way that how you can downgrade your iphone to any signed version and yeah if you like this video let me know in the comment section below and i will be bringing more videos like this one if you have any question ask you can ask me in the comment section or you can follow me on x that's it from this video and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out